Well, so thank you for the introduction. It's a pleasure to be here. I hope uh, I'm able to share uh, some of the excitement of planetary exploration and other applications of vision-based navigation. Um, so I'm going to talk about what we've been doing in vision-based navigation in solar system exploration. As Goxel said, we also have done quite a bit of work for a variety of uh, DOD agencies in the last 25 to 30 years at JPL. That's got a lot in common with what we do for places like Mars. Um, and then in recent years, that's migrated to a connection with the, the end of the title there, uh, consumer devices, in that we're starting to use uh, processors that are really targeting the smartphone market uh, in some of our systems for, uh, for DOD customers. Uh, and then most recently, we have contributed to Google's Project Tango, which brings together both the processors on the smartphone and the algorithms that essentially come out of uh, the autonomous navigation domain. And then it goes full circle, uh, which is quite exciting for us, because the radiation effects people at JPL now tell me that today's microprocessors with the smaller feature sizes and lower core voltage are actually pretty immune to most of the permanent failures that the consumer electronics would normally have experienced in space which leaves transient effects, which we can overcome with a variety of techniques, including hardware redundancy. So there's exciting potential for consumer-grade uh, processors and electronics to now be used in space missions, which would dramatically improve the computational throughput, reduce the weight, reduce the power, the volume uh, for space-based computing. So uh, I'll close with just a comment about what we think are exciting possibilities to bring this full circle. So. Um, I think you, you may know that we have uh, our latest rover on Mars is Curiosity in the Mars Science Lab mission. It's exploring a place called Gale Crater, which, if this thing works, is right there. It's about a 150-kilometer diameter with a, a big mound in the middle that's about five kilometers high.